Hey, what's up? I'm Jacob. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I'm out here in my favorite spot. I just want to do a quick video about the uh, Axe addition to the Beach and Tactical Baldrick Sling. This is a addition. Um, it costs a little bit extra when you order the Baldrick Sling. Whatever it is that I charge extra, uh, it's not enough because it takes a, a bit of time to do. However, it's not ordered very often, so I don't really worry about it. But essentially, it is a uh, removable option for your Baldrick Sling to allow you to easily and comfortably carry an axe handle up. Now, I got this idea from Rooster and from Council Tool. This is a prototype council tool pack axe. But uh, I personally do not like carrying tomahawks or axes handled down. To me, it's not comfortable. It's not convenient. The handle's always in my way. Uh, so I wanted to do handle up. And I actually uh, got Rooster's help. Uh, we did some design work together, and I saw how Council Tool does their sling. Uh, and what I ended up doing is simply adding an addition to my existing Baldrick sling as an option instead of offering an axe-specific Baldrick. So I'll get up close here. And all this addition is, is below the webbing here, there will be a few pockets. I actually... I think my original Axe Baldrick that I had, I probably gave away or something because I told uh, a friend that I was going to do this video. I looked for my original Axe Baldrick. I couldn't find it, so I just have to assume that I gave it away. So uh, this wasn't even done with matching patterns here because I don't care because this is my personal one. Obviously, if you, get, uh, if you order the uh, option on the Baldrick, everything will be matching in the same colors. I use different colors of thread and everything because when I do stuff for myself, I just use whatever thread's in there and grab a scrap if it's applicable. I don't ever take the time to do something nice really for myself. Did a completely different color buckle because I have a lot of uh, gray buckles right now. But anyways, so you've got these different uh, slots here in the webbing. And through that, you can put this strap with buckle. You can adjust it up or down in these uh, slots. Um, now, the one thing with the Axe Baldrick to wear it in this manner is like you will see on this sheath, you need to have a way to attach the sling on the handle side of the Axe sheath. Now, this might not be the most tactical way to carry your axe, and it's not appropriate for all axes. So this is going to work great for any tomahawk or hatchet with appropriate um, doggone sheath here with the eyelets on the bottom, or th these uh, duffel clips will work on kydex eyelets or just about anything. But it has to have an attachment point on the bottom. They'll work on just about any tomahawk or hatchet. I would say the uh, top size of uh, axe that you would want to use with this sling setup would probably be a boy's axe. Uh, I think those are normally a 24 inch handle. I think if you went any past that, you'd really be pushing the limits of what is practical. But anyways, uh, so like I mentioned, this might not be the most tactical thing. Uh, because to deploy the axe here, you've got to unbuckle this. And then once you've done that, it will depend on what type of sheath that you have. So if you have a, say, a tomahawk in a kydex sheath that's a pull-out design, once you unbuckle that, you could snap this out. And it could be relatively quick. With this uh, council tool uh, sheath design, it's a push-through-the-bottom design. So now I'm going to push the axe out through the bottom. What's left on the baldric is just the uh, ask axe mask or sheath here. I don't, I don't think that that's considered a mask because it covers more than just the edge, but I really don't know. Whatever. And boom, you've got your gear. 
Uh, again, how you reinstall it will depend on your type of sheath, but I'm going to go uh, handle first and insert the axe back into this sheath. Two buttons, then I'm going to pull it across here and buckle it up. It's a uh, if you're going to carry an axe for a long ways, it's really a comfortable way to do it. And uh, if, you're, if you've got a good sheath for it, which this one certainly is from Council Tool, I like this sheath design. It's really not hard to grab. And with the proper sheath, it could still be uh, very quick defensively if you were to find yourself needing a defensive tomahawk, for instance. However, it will not be as fast as hanging a tomahawk handle down where you can just reach over and rip it out. So uh, there you go. Potentially you gain a bit of comfort and long-term practicality. You lose a bit of speed, how many miles you're putting, uh, putting down with this ax on your side is going to uh, dictate which style of baldric sling you will need. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you are interested in Beach and Tactical products, a link to beachandtactical.com will be in the description box below, as well as links to uh, Exodus Knife and Tool, my knife business, and uh, my affiliate links, uh, uh, Palmetto State Armory, Primary Arms, my Patreon, as well as my Instagram pages and uh, I've got Facebook pages too, so all of that will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I hope that you have a blessed day.